the best mineral sunscreens that I have tried for darker skin in 2021. Let go. So this video serves as an overview of the best mineral sunscreens that I have tried in 2021. If you are looking for full reviews, simply search the product name and the little magnifying glass on my channel, or just go to the YouTube search for the product name and it puts Style and Beauty Doctor and it'll come up. Or if you're wondering if I tried any others, you can do the same thing right there. Just so we are on the same page, we're talking about mineral sunscreens here, meaning that they use zinc oxide and or titanium dioxide as the filters in it to protect you from the sun. Now these filters are white pigments and the problems that people often come across is that, you know, it don't look so good on our skin, hence this video. Now me, myself personally, I wear chemical slash organic sunscreens, but I don't have very reactive skin. There are some people out there who have to wear mineral sunscreens or just prefer to wear them. And I do these reviews because I'm so passionate about you wearing sunscreen because if you're out there with deeper skin thinking that you ain't gotta wear it, you're dead wrong. You, you do know that sun exposure, you know, particularly UVA, visible light, these are things that worsen pigmentation, not even to mention skin cancer. We may not get skin cancer as much as our white counterparts, but when we do get it, it tends to progress faster because it's often not detected until it's too late. So put a bomba clot sunscreen on. So this listing is in chronological order based on, you know, when in the year I tried them, starting out with the Super Goop Mineral Shear Screen Sunscreen SPF 30. Now this does still have a tea, like a little, teeny bit of a cast to it and on, on me and I still included it in this list because it's still a pretty good look on someone who's maybe a little bit lighter than I am. Dr. Alexis Stevens tried this on her channel so make sure you check it out and it looks great on her but I do think if you're about my complexion and deeper that it may still have a little bit of a cast. It's still a very lightweight easy to work in mineral sunscreen because some of these things can be real pasty and hard to rub in. So that's a plus. So if you're someone who wears makeup or you don't mind putting, you know, just a little dusting of powder over it to kind of mitigate the cast, this might be up your alley. So if you've tried it or if you would try it, let me know in the comments. So next up, the Dr. Dennis Gross All Physical Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. This is an extremely cosmetically elegant mineral sunscreen. Probably one of the better feeling ones that's gonna be on this list. It's a very lightweight fluid. You can apply this on its own. You can wear a moisturizer underneath it. And I find that, you know, it, it's a good to go. However, for me, I have oily skin. So I don't like moisturizers that have a very shiny finish. And I definitely don't like sunscreens that have a very shiny finish for me. So this one is quite shiny. Like you're gonna be shining, shining, shining. So if you have dry skin, this might be a great option for you. Or if you have oily skin and you don't mind that look, if you have oily skin and you live someplace where it gets pretty cold, this might also be an option for you. Now, although it is really shiny, you can kind of bring down some of the shine with some powder. So that's also an option if you were looking into this mineral sunscreen. So let me know in the comments, would you try it? Have you tried it? Let us know. Next up from a black owned brand based in the UK, the Bia Skincare, or maybe it's BEA Skincare Solar Defense. It, it comes in a SPF 30 and an SPF 50. And when I say, that I freaking love this mineral sunscreen. It's like, where's the cast at? But where's the cast at? I don't see no cast. I don't see no cast. So I tried both the SPF 30 and the SPF 50. I didn't see a cast on my skin. I loved how lightweight it is. I feel like other manufacturers of mineral sunscreens need to take a look at this and see what they did and see how they can do similar, right? Now, not everything is for everybody out there, so make sure you check out the full ingredient list because you will know obviously better than I do which ingredients that you tend to look for in your products and which ones that you tend to avoid, you know, if, the, if you do such a thing. However, the only thing that will stop so many of you from buying this mineral sunscreen is if you live outside of the UK, the shipping on this is crazy. I checked just now and it's about $27 US to ship. I think that they do like a, a free shipping upgrade if you order a certain amount of products. 
but you would have to order quite a, a, an amount of products to you know make that free shipping minimum. But for those of you who live in the UK, this is a great option for you because I know a lot of you guys say in your comments that you, know, you have a hard time finding a good mineral sunscreen where you live. This would be a great option for you. Or if you're in a country near the UK, perhaps the outgoing shipping isn't that much for you either. So this is one to look out for. Would you try it? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments. So next up, we have a bunch of sunscreens from the brand Sewn Ray. So first up, the Clearly Zinc Mineral Sunscreen SPF 60. Now, I got a gripe <laughs> with some of these brands that use words like clear, clearly, invisible, cause why are you lying? Why, why you gotta mislead the people? This, it, it, nonetheless, the Clearly Zinc SPF 60 is not invisible, but it is a really nice mineral sunscreen. And I found that this looks really nice on the body because I've tried some mineral body sunscreens for you guys because you ask for them, but a lot of them make you look like you have on white pantyhose, and I found that not to be the case with this one. So this one might be a good option. However, you know, with the body, <laughs> you're gonna need more, obviously more product than you would for your face. So I think that the price point coupled with, you know, how much sunscreen you would need for your body might make it very expensive for you to use this as your body sunscreen. But some of y'all out there are ballers, big ballers, shot callers, so you know, whatever. Sunray also has a kid's version of their mineral sunscreen. I found it to be exactly identical to the previous one in terms of performance, but I will link it below. So, you know, if there are any differences that matter to you, you can check that out. I did like the Sonray Clearly Zinc Tinted Face and Body Sunscreen SPF 45 for the face and body. This is probably one of the better tinted mineral sunscreens that I've tried in the, how long have I been trying these mineral sunscreens? Maybe two years now, maybe a little closer, maybe we're going on three years trying the mineral sunscreens on this channel. This looks beautiful on the body because I do find that mineral body sunscreens, again, make it look like you have on white pantyhose. And then for the ones that aren't as opaque as white pantyhose, it looks like, like the radiance was taken down a couple of notches on your skin. So I found that this one was really nice for the, for the body. Of course, it's also nice for the face. However, if you're gonna use it on your body, the same caveat with the pricing, that it might get a little expensive using it on your body given how much sunscreen you get for the price. However, tinted mineral sunscreens work really well for a certain population, especially if you have melasma or if you have like severe pigmentation because the iron oxides help to provide some additional protection from visible light, which we addressed in this video along with UVA worsens pigmentation. Now I did find that this tinted mineral sunscreen looked and felt a bit oily on the face. Uh, so I probably, if I used mineral sunscreens, I probably wouldn't want to reach for this one first. But you know, that, that bit of oily kind of like feeling to it was really great on the body though. Cause you know, my, my face is oily, but my body skin tends to be a little dry. So have you tried any Sewn Ray mineral sunscreens? Let me know in the comments. Whether you have or you, you, you may consider it. You, you might be like, nah, I dabble. Let me know if that's your case in the comments. Next up, the Ghost Democracy Invisible Daily Face SPF 33 Sunscreen. Now, here we go again with this term invisible. Now, I would not call this invisible, but it's still a decent sunscreen cast-wise. It still left a little teeny bit of a cast on my skin, but I did like that it was lightweight. It has more of a satin finish that isn't extremely dewy looking, extremely shiny, and it wore nicely on my oily skin during the warmer month. And we'll get more into oily skin and, and mineral sunscreens in this video, but if you've tried this or you're considering trying it, let me know all about it in the comments. Next up, the Absolute Joy Mineral Sunscreen SPF 40. So the Absolute Joy brand was created by a black dermatologist, and here is where we get some nice, realistic, looking tinted mineral sunscreens. It comes in two shades, Cafe Olay and there's a mocha. I find that either shade looked pretty good on my skin tone. This is something that you can use to kind of like cover a couple of steps in your skincare routine. This can take the place of your moisturizer, your sun protection, and then, you know, if you wear makeup, maybe this might be 
I mean, it's not going to give you a whole bunch of coverage, but if you're someone who, you know, prefers like a lightweight look, this can take that coverage step out of your routine. And of course, if you prefer more, you can put your regular makeup on top of this as well. The formula is very lightweight yet moisturizing, and as it is tinted, it contains iron oxides, which we mentioned help to give some additional protection against visible light. Have you tried this? Let me know in the comments. Next up, we have the Pharmacy Green Defense Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. So this says it's reformulated. I never tried the original, so I have nothing to compare it to, but I did find that this looked pretty decent on my skin in terms of cast. I mean, the cast wasn't completely invisible, but it, it was decent and, you know, I feel like the more options you guys have to choose from, the better here. So would you try it? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the Dr. Geo Cosmetics Ultra 7 Brightening Cushion Foundation SPF 50 Plus. This is from a black owned Korean brand. Now, sometimes people hear this and they get, the, the brain gets a little confused, but you can be Korean nationality and black race. Now, although this is a makeup compact, you can have this count as your sun protection as long as you put enough. So enough is an equation that comes out to two milligrams of sunscreen per centimeter square of skin. Now, you know, if you're not gonna put that much on, then definitely wear your regular sunscreen protection and then you can put this on top. Now, cushion foundations are not a new thing. They've been a staple in Asian beauty culture for quite some time. But when they came over here to the grand US of A, or you know, when a lot of the American companies was like, oh, let's hop on this trend. A lot of times they only came in like two, maybe three shades and ain't none of them came anywhere as deep as my skin, let alone deeper than me. So it's really great to see something like this that comes in so many beautiful shades. So I tried this out in the shade BC, which is what the brand had sent me. But I think that after looking at the chart, that their shade Foon Me would probably be the better shade match for me. But nonetheless, let me know, would you try this? Have you tried this? Talk about it in the comments. Now, if you haven't noticed already, there's a bit of a trend here where in 2021, black and brown, brand founders came through with some really good mineral sunscreen options out there for us. And the next one, the Live Tinted Hue Guard SPF 30 is another one to add to the list. So this product comes from the brand Live Tinted, which was founded by beauty influencer Deepika, who went viral a couple of years ago for her red lipstick hack, which she was using to, you know, kind of color correct her under eye discoloration. The brand also has some really great color correcting sticks for, you know, the various shades of brown and black skin. So make sure you check that out. Again, as a tinted mineral sunscreen, this includes iron oxides, which is gonna give you some extra protection from visible light. The tint on here looks like this yellow color where you're like, okay, this is not gonna work for my skin. But I actually did like the way that it looked on my skin. It wasn't completely invisible, but I feel like a product like this was created for people who are, you know, in their next steps in their routine are gonna put makeup on. So if that's you, this might be something that you wanna check out. Have you tried it? Would you try it? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the Dr. V in Zincable SPF 50. So this product comes to us from Dr. V who also has a channel here on YouTube, so make sure you check her out. Now, it's really hard, extremely hard to clock a cast with this mineral sunscreen. My issue with this mineral sunscreen is that it is extremely shiny. I personally do not like shiny finishes on my skin. You know, I've mentioned this before, but you can tone down some of the shininess by applying a powder on top. I don't like shiny finishes on my oily skin, but there are people out there with oily skin who don't mind that type of finish. I'm just not one of them, okay? If you wanna go ahead and be shining, that's on you. I don't want to shine. I mean, I shine, but now shine, shine. I really enjoyed this mineral sunscreen. However, if you live outside of the UK, that shipping fee might be a deterrent. The sunscreen itself is not very expensive. I would say it's about the same price that you would get for a similar size sunscreen at like Sephora. $34 for the sunscreen. The shipping is like, a little $20, a little over $20, which can make it be a deterrent from, you know, you know, from buying it if you live outside of the UK. However, I do have an audience here that lives in the UK that look for mineral sunscreens. So this might be a great option for you. Would you try it? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the Bergen Dermatology Sheer Joy SPF 50 Plus. This is also a mineral sunscreen that was created by a black dermatologist. Now, it is extremely hard to clock a cast with this mineral sunscreen as well. 
but it is very, very, very dewy. <laughs> dewy. Now, for some people who like that look, that's not going to be an issue. If you still want to use the sunscreen, but you're like, okay, I can do with less dew, you can use a powder to kind of black down some of the, the, the intense shininess of it. But I did find that it was lightweight and that it was really moisturizing. It was just, for me, too shiny. Would you try it? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the Butter Skin Tinted Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. This was also created by someone of color. Actually, Dorian, if you watched Baldwin Hills on BET, you'll remember him from that show from the 2000s. Now, I did find that this gave me a very slight, like just a little, a little of a cast. But this also has iron oxides in it to help protect you from visible light. This might be something if you're about my complexion or deeper, where if you wear makeup, you may not mind the slight cast. Or if you want to just put like a little bit of powder or maybe some bronzer to kind of, you know, mitigate the, the way that the cast looks, this might be a great option for you. Would you try it? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments. Now, before I get to my favorite pick for the best mineral sunscreen for darker skin in 2021, let's talk a little bit about oily skin and mineral sunscreens, right? It seems as if we can't get a good balance of a really good formula for oily skin that doesn't have an extreme cast on darker skin when it comes to mineral sunscreens. Particularly, I'm talking about the ones made here in the grand US of A, right? So I don't know if the, whatever they use to mattify some of these products for oily skin doesn't like mesh well with whatever they're doing to make the, the, the white cast not look so casty. Now here's the thing, in general, the way that brands are making mineral sunscreens not look so bad on our skin is either one, they're micronizing the zinc and or the titanium dioxide, which basically means that they're making it smaller so that it doesn't show up and be all ha on your skin. Two, they could tint it, which we've talked about a lot of tinted mineral sunscreens here and the benefits of having that. But some brands can, you know, it's like, can you tint it a little more? Just a little more. Or where, where I'm finding the issue here when you have oily skin and you're looking for a good mineral sunscreen is that they put a lot of uh, products that are very moisturizing or that can be a little bit oily looking or shiny looking into the formulation so that it's not, the cast isn't so apparent. And, and it's that that kind of, you know, if you, if you have oily skin and you're not for the shine, it finishes on top of your shine where it can, you know, be, be a little bit of an issue. So I actually have a video where I found some really great mineral sunscreens for oily skin. However, <laughs> the, the cast. So check that out. Uh, there are ways to get around it. So if you're someone with oily skin who happens to also like to wear makeup and you, you know, you can just incorporate these mineral sunscreens anyway into your routine. Cause you're just going to put makeup on top of it. You know, that might be an option for you. So check out that video either way. So now drum roll, please. My favorite mineral sunscreen that I tried in 2021 for deeper skin goes out to the Olay Regenerous Hydrating Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. So this ticks off a lot of boxes for me personally if I were someone to wear mineral sunscreens regularly. I can put a ridiculous amount of this on my face. Not necessary to put a ridiculous amount of sunscreen on your face because it, it can cause issues for you like, especially if you're gonna put something else like makeup on top of it, having too much product slipping and sliding all over your face isn't always a good idea. But technically I could just put a whole glop of it on my face and, and be good here. It's also a sunscreen that I can comfortably wear throughout all the seasons that we get here in New York. It probably would not be my first choice for a sunscreen in brutal summer, like when it gets real hot and humid here. However, it, did, it wasn't that bad. There are certain weird times where I had certain derm procedures where it was advised that I use a mineral sunscreen after, like chemical peels, some lasers and stuff like that. You guys can check out what I got in the other videos. Um, and I was wearing that in the summertime and it wasn't bad on its own. The problem comes up usually where it's really hot and I have that on and then I put makeup on. It can make my makeup, you know, I'm gonna need to touch up a little bit more often than I normally would. But even that's not that bad when you think about it, right? Now, this sunscreen is not going to tick all the boxes for all of you out there because, you know, if you're looking for something tinted, it's not tinted. If you're looking for a higher SPF, 
It's a 30. It's still a good sunscreen. 30 is still good. But some people want, you know, 50, 50 plus, And that's fine. But this just ain't it. <laughs> I also find this to be great because you can actually shop around to see who has this at a better price. A lot of the other sunscreens that I talked about in this video usually have fixed prices where it's like, unless there's like a friends and family sale or a random sale, you're probably gonna have to pay full price for them. This one I've seen for as low as maybe about $14.99 on walmart.com. So just keep your eyes peeled because you can either find something where it's like maybe 14, 15 bucks, or maybe there's like a buy one, get one half off or whatever sale that's out there. So just keep your eyes peeled for that. Now, full disclosure, I have appeared on television for Olay on a number of occasions, and particularly on Dr. Oz talking about this same mineral sunscreen, but I ain't bold or crazy enough to go out on TV or come here on this YouTube channel and lie to people because I live in a city where people know where to find me <laughs> and I ain't that crazy. So yeah. If you are still getting a white cast with these where I'm saying like I find it hard to clock one, keep these in mind. First things first, make sure that whatever you're using before you put your sunscreen on has fully dried down. I have noticed myself like when I'm trying to like rush, sometimes that kind of mixes in with, I'm, I'm assuming the white pigment of the titanium dioxide and or the zinc and it just makes it intensify and look worse on the skin. So whatever your last step is before you do your sunscreen, just give it a couple of minutes, then put your sunscreen on and you should probably see less of a cast. Hey, it's Danielle in editing. So I say this in almost all of my other mineral sunscreen videos, but I forgot to say it here, that another thing that you should try to do if you're getting a cast with your mineral sunscreen is to try to apply it in thin layers. If you try to put a big glop of sunscreen on your face, you are gonna be very upset because it's gonna be extremely difficult to blend in. So when it comes to mineral sunscreens, apply thin layers until you have the adequate amount on. I usually don't reapply my sunscreen with that sunscreen, if that makes sense. I reapply with a mineral powder sunscreen because for me, it just feels more comfortable. It's a lot more convenient and it's easier, especially on days where I'm wearing makeup. So if you are interested, I will leave a link to the Super Goop mineral sunscreen powder that I like. I actually like one from Peter Thomas Roth, but I don't know if they discontinued it or what. It's, it's been a while since I've seen it in stock. I don't know, y'all take that up with Peter Thomas Roth because I don't know. <laughs> but I will leave a link to the Super Goop Mineral Powder Sunscreen. It comes in light, medium, and deep. I wear the deep. It takes a minute for you to figure out the packaging and to get the powder to come out and all of that. But once you overcome that obstacle, it's usually pretty good. Also bear in mind with your mineral sunscreens that you may need to double cleanse to properly remove it. I have found that with the white pigments, you know, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are white pigments, that I find that it takes a little, take a little bit more <laughs> to cleanse it off than just that one cleanse. So I take an oil-based cleanser with my dry hands, massage that into the skin, rinse that off, and then I follow up with my regular gel cleanser and, and then, you know, move on with my life. Which mineral sunscreens were your fave in 2021? I'm going to be doing a holy grail skincare 2021 video that includes some of my own personal favorites, and I'll include some of my favorite chemical sunscreens from 2021 in that video. So make sure you are subscribed and you turn on your notifications so that you don't miss it. And I'll see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.